Hello everyone, welcome to MK Guitar, my name is Mustafa and today we'll take a look at one easy riff that you can learn to practice percussion on the guitar while playing notes at the same time. I'll be uploading the full arrangement in about a week and a half on my YouTube, so subscribe if you want to follow that. Um, on my Instagram, prior to the release, by three or four days, I'll be uploading each part on its own along with the song and then I'll put the whole thing together for the release date. So if you're interested in that, follow me on Instagram. All right, so let's get started. In order to do this properly, we have to learn it in four steps. The very first step, we'll learn the riff on its own without percussion. Then we'll learn the percussion moves. Then we'll learn the percussion moves while playing notes at the same time. And last, we'll put the whole thing together. So step number one is we're gonna learn the riff on its own. You don't have to have the spider capo on. Basically, I am playing strings one, two, and four with harmonics on the 12th fret. So you can do that yourself with a pinky, or you can just learn it with open strings without the harmonics. So again, that string set, one, two, and four, with your ring finger, second finger, and first finger. Here is what it sounds like. Okay, second step is you trying to practice just the percussion moves on the guitar without any notes. So the first percussion move is a bass, which is this. So you use the palm of your right hand and you try to hit somewhere on top of the sound hole. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because when you start playing notes, you would be playing here. So it doesn't make sense that you do your bass kick here, even though it's possible, but you cannot play, okay? So it's right here. And notice how when I'm playing that, I am flicking my fingers up. That's totally normal because that's the motion that we're going to use later on when we add a note on top. So for now, just practice that. So that's for the bass. For the snare, it's simply your thumb or your thumbnail on top of the sound hole. Now comes step three. When you hit a bass note, make sure that you're able to flick a finger on the string at the same time. It would help a lot if you have nails as they have more contact with the string. Notice how I'm doing it at the same time and I'm not really emphasizing a clean hit like this or I'm just trying to do the play with the hit at the same time. It's one move. And you can do that with any finger that you want. Here's the ring. Middle. Index is usually used with the snare hit, but anyways, here's the index. Now you want to do the same thing, but with your snare hit. Middle finger, index. All right, so practice that, the riff on its own and the percussion notes on its own. When you can do that, then it's time to put the whole thing together. Okay, so here's step four.
So that's one easy riff that you can learn to practice percussion on the guitar while playing notes at the same time. If you have any questions, subscribe to my channel and write them in the comment section down below. Or join my public Facebook group, Fingerstyle Guitar Ask, Learn, Share, where I constantly encourage people to upload videos of themselves performing. And I would either comment on it, critique it, or answer their questions either via text, photo, or video, or live streams. My name is Mustafa, this is MK Guitar. Go pick up your guitar and play.